Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Mushroom Dungeon. I wanted to give you a quick rundown of one of my next experiments I have going on here. I am trying out some new species on my Renegade substrate mix. So I worked with this mix in a previous video. It is 22% buckwheat hulls. That's the little dark spots you can see in the bags there. And 78% hardwood fuel pellets. So the cool thing about this mix is a couple cool things about this mix. You can do the simple in-bag boiling water pasteurization method with it and it still works great. So really simple prep method. See we have some king oyster going as well, pinning right now. Over there is our herichium. And just for fun we also did a block with turkey tail. This is a commercial turkey tail strain from Mycelium Emporium. So it's weird, it's kind of getting this bark like all over it. It'll be interesting to see what this does. So we're going to let them fruit out, see what our finished fruit bodies look like. This is first flush, so we'll also be able to check our yields and compare back against previous videos. So should be interesting, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. It is picking time. We managed to grow some beautiful Herichium Americanum and some really nice king oyster too on our renegade mix substrate so now we're going to pick these off we'll be able to check yields and compare that to some of our other substrate experiments it's about a week and a half i would say from pinning to picking at 85 percent in my automated humidity chamber here if you guys haven't seen the video and you want to make a chamber like this i will post a link to my build video in the description of this video but right now i'm going to pull these blocks out and we'll get to picking let's check and see how we did on our herichium first eleven and three eighths ounces between the two blocks so nice quality no problems with them at all and even though the yields were a little low, not terrible, got some nice mushrooms. A beautiful big fruit body there. That one's gonna weigh quite a bit. Yeah, just that one weighed about five ounces. So we got about 19 ounces off of two blocks with our kings. Pretty typical to what I get with uh, hardwood fuel pellets or lightly brand supplemented hardwood fuel pellets, you know, maybe like 5% brand. And uh, we're getting the same yields and some nice quality fruit bodies with the Renegade mix, with the buckwheat hulls as well. So I know this mix works really well for the tree oysters, you know, the Pleurotus ostriatus, pulmonaris strains. I've tested it, it gets some really nice yields. So obviously it doesn't have to be buckwheat hulls, soy hulls, you know, it could be wheat hulls, rice hulls. Just look for whatever's grown in your area, whatever's prolific in your area, and usually that's the stuff you can get cheap if you can find the source for it. All right guys, I'm gonna end the video here, but I did wanna show you the second flush on these blocks. These are obviously our Reachium Americanum blocks. We'll pop these off and we'll weigh them up, see what we got for our second flush. Yeah, so just a little under the first flush. It was about five and a half ounces on that one. Probably gonna be about the same on this block over here. So I'm gonna go for a third flush. Um, the Kings are just pinning again for their second flush. And I also have my turkey tail block here. I wanna show you guys that. Check that out. Those turkey tail are fanning out. So we're gonna get some nice turkey tail mushrooms on there. They're still gonna keep expanding when you see that white outer edge on the caps. They're still actively growing, so these are going to keep growing for a while, I'm sure. But those are looking pretty cool, too. So that's a wrap, guys. I guess the moral of the story is don't be afraid to hunt down some local agricultural byproducts, like some seed hulls especially, and try it in with your substrate mix. Usually the seed hulls, like these buckwheat hulls here, are a lot cheaper than my oak hardwood fuel pellets. So if I can work them in to the substrate mix and still get about the same yields, you know, nice production, 
then why not? I actually get more production with the tree oysters on this Buckwheat Hall Renegade mix than I do with you know, even the lightly supplemented wheat bran and hardwood field pellets. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. That really does help me out. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you next video.